Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial video of Figma. Today we are going to see how to create an overlay. How to create open overlay. For that I have chosen like iPhone 13 frame, mobile frame and just adding test like adding MR toys, something like that. Yeah. And uh, we'll add some test here. Okay. I just have added one test here and we'll create one button. Um, okay. These all are basic uh, things. Uh, just making like uh, without much uh, UA and all. Without focusing on the proper measurement and all. Just to make you all understand about overlay. Today we are going to learn about overlay. So that's only our purpose. Okay. I'm just uh, adding one test called by. Okay. And we'll change this color to like, we'll make it in little more colorful. Okay, cool. Then group all this button. Okay. So I have created one screen here with button. When this button, when we click this button, one pop-up should show that your purchase, you have done the purchase or something like that. Hooray, you have got a discount or like something. So we are going to create one pop-up. For that, I just uh, using a rectangle or square, whichever uh, is like uh, uh, you need. Okay. I have created one box. Okay. I just adding test like hooray. Yao got 20% discount. Let, let's be, let this be the content. Okay. Now I just, uh, I think we'll make it in a little more colorful. Okay. These all are uh, just dummy uh, plain design. I'm not using much more complex things and all. I just uh, like uh, aiming to teach you all about overlay here. So here i have created one frame with button and one pop-up with a test code like hooray you have got you have got 20 percentage discount okay now we need one close button let's uh, choose one close button yeah okay You can use in uh, use any plugins to find the buttons and all. I usually use Iconify and uh, yeah, Iconify is a bet better thing. You can find out more. Uh, yeah, so I have created one button here, and uh, the size of this button is not proper. You have to follow all the uh, standard measures for even creating buttons and icons and even the test and all these all are dummy okay so we have created one pop-up now we are just going to group all the materials select all group selection so it will be grouped separately now we have created one pop-up just select all right click group selection i'm not using here shortcut keys as everyone like is especially for the beginners so right click group selection after that right click make it into frame now this is one frame now we are going to create the prototype of for overlay for that click on this button drag to the frame one or the pop-up one and in that on tap 
smart animate that that depends on uh, your need okay navigate to change open overlay it will be uh, defaultly navigate to but we need to click open overlay so now we have created the prototype and always make sure overlay settings change the settings into manual so you can move it this pop up anywhere needed in the main frame okay now i just placing this in main frame according to my wish or else you can choose bottom left centered and or but uh, usually the overlay comes in center so i have chosen manual okay now let's see the prototype yeah so um, when we click buy button pop up will open or overlay will open okay and for this close button we didn't give prototype so we have to give prototype to close button for that just click on that uh, close button and just drag that button prototype to main frame on tap it will close and it will automatically comes to the main frame and also you can do like um, close when clicking outside for that go to the prototype of pop up and uh, choose close when clicking outside see let's see the prototype now i just clicking the button now it's showing the overlay and just clicking outside automatically gets closed or else you can press close button so this is a simple method for creating overlay you can try out different ways uh, this is a basic um, you can dif explore different different kind of uh, overlays and all i hope you all understood and uh, this video is little uh, bit slow so you can increase the speed in youtube and uh, you can see the video especially this video is for beginners so they also want to understand thank you so much see you in the next video